they played three times a season. And the three times they played, um, two of the times they didn't have James Harden. The Nets didn't have James Harden, mm-hmm. et cetera. But all three times they played, when it came to averages, Giannis an average 39 points per game. Mm-hmm. The Nets don't play no defense. They don't. Mervin. They don't. When, but when we the knew Celtics that. Won, we knew that was going to happen. When the Celtics won, Jason Tatum dropped 50. Mm-hmm. Now, I can honestly in, foresee a future where Giannis Antetokounmpo could drop 45 two or more times mm-hmm. in this series. And if Giannis Antetokounmpo drops 45 points, mm-hmm. Y'all are losing. Well. I'm saying y'all are losing because. Okay. Look look, look at the rest of the team he got. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Chris Middleton. Chris Good Middleton player. once led the NBA in three-point percentage. Mm-hmm. Meaning, this man makes more three-pointers than he, say, misses mm-hmm. on a good night. Better than NBA, anybody in the NBA. Okay, mm-hmm. he was once in a three-point contest. Did he lose to Steph Curry that year? Probably. If Steph was in there, he probably uh, lost. Well, no, Steph lost um, a couple times. Mm. Um, yeah, to Clay Thompson. I, I don't know who. He, I think he lost another time, too. He, Steph hasn't won. He, he hasn't won everyone he's done. But um, I do I – don't, I don't remember who was in that three-point competition with him. But Chris Middleton, still a good store, a score. If you leave Chris Middleton open, Chris Middleton is going to shoot. Mm-hmm. Okay? Okay? Now, let's look at the defenders they got. They got Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday is a defender. He's a defender. Drew Holiday is a defender and has been having a very good year. Okay? Mm-hmm. They had the addition of P.J. Tucker, Mr. Sneakerhead from Houston. Now, P.J. Tucker is also a very good defender. That's a great defender y'all done picked up. And if he's open from the corner three, he going to make it. Yep. And Most guess likely. what? He probably going to be open because y'all don't play no defense. Yeah. I'm just saying. Look. I still have the Nets to win. Mm-hmm. Okay. But if, as long as you're on the same page there. Okay. But if it goes to seven games, I wouldn't be surprised. Neither would I. Let me, let me just say the Nets could have had Phillies – cakewalk to the Eastern Conference Finals and not had to have such, you know, the Eastern Conference Finals before you got there. They could have had the cakewalk, but uh, head coach Steve Nash, he, uh, during the regular season, these are very vital roles within the Philly, um, the Philly and Nets rankings. Mm-hmm. They were separated by like a game, okay? Yeah. Steve Nash played KD against the Timberwolves and sat him against Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. And they lost. That's a whole game right yeah. there. Like, well, what kind of coaching is that? You going to play him against the Timberwolves but see him against Philadelphia? When you Rest. When you're going to, with Philadelphia for – Rest. They knew that was in the playoffs. You, it didn't matter. You, they knew they were in the playoffs. No, 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 no. It does matter. What if they lose this – Steve Nash – listen, Steve Nash, career on the line. He's uh, one – KD, career oh, on the line. He's one year in. He's good. He is one year in, but he's still got a lot of pressure. You have three of the best – three of three of the best – three of the top – Six players in the league right now, yeah. six seven, and you don't win. You're literally they gave you this team. You know yeah. how much flack this man got when he got the job. Yeah. Everybody like, and, okay, not only do you give him a position over a black dude, he ain't got no experience, but now you just giving him a championship. He didn't have to work hard yeah. like everybody else had to do. He's mm-hmm. just giving his team. But I'm sorry, that's a major co- coaching error. Like yeah. it doesn't oh, matter yeah, it if is. you're in the playoffs or not because seeding matters too. Mm-hmm. You play him against the Timberwolves, but you don't play him against Philadelphia. So, okay, I'm sorry, but that was just something that happened a while. So ago. I look and I hear I hear everything you just said. You talk about Giannis to go off 45 you know, mm-hmm. a couple times and win a couple games. I tend to remember about 10, 15 minutes ago we we're talking about another superstar who scored 55 points and lost the game because he ain't had nobody else that could. You know, help him out. But that's why um, I said Giannis can go off at thirty-five, and then I started mentioning his other teammates, exactly, who have a history. Like the Bucks are a good team. Don't compare them to no Trailblazers. I'm okay. Okay. Fair enough. But the Bucks are a good team, and you know we know the Bucks for in the past couple of years, doing absolutely nothing in the playoffs, getting I'm, there. I'm sorry, and but they now have blowing it. I'm, do they not have the new additions that I named? I'm sorry, it changes the team. This is not the same team from last year. 
this is nobody's this is, the same team that they were last year. That's all. Team. Teams but are always is, different, right? But this is a new team. I feel like it's a better team, especially defensively. And they still have Chris Middleton. I'm sorry, Chris Middleton is somebody I think is one of the most underrated players yeah. in the league. Right you're right. Now. No, oh, you're right. Um, but they had Chris but, Middleton last year too. They did have Christmas in last year, Just but saying. like I said, they're better defensively. They added PJ Tucker. Like they're better defensively. They still like they're Don't starting if, five, huh? Don't matter if you can score. Chris Middleton can score. What are you talking about? I'm just saying. Chris Middleton is somebody who can score. Chris yep. he's had, Chris Middleton has had 34 point games. Like okay. Chris Middleton, he can score. He's dropped 30. Like that's not what I'm worried about just at all. Okay, okay. Bucks, Bucks okay. are a good team. Are, are you I arguing with me if the Bucks are a good team? I'm not saying the Bucks aren't a good team. I'm saying so the Bucks saying? ain't gonna do squat against Brooklyn. That's what I'm saying. But, so you think the Brooklyn Brooklyn just gonna what beat them in five games? Yes. 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 Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay. Mervin, what basketball do you watch? You don't think the Bucks are a, a, a? You don't think the Bucks have a chance against against the Nets? No, no, I don't. Because the Bucks have proven to me time and time again. Stop putting my trust in them. That's why. This is a different team, Mervin. This team is much better defensively. This is a different team. Giannis has grown. Giannis is starting to shoot the ball. Now, granted, he's not the best shooter, but he's starting to shoot the ball from three. Giannis is is is, is okay. dangerous. Okay. And they pause. And against okay. this Nets team. Mm-hmm. They don't have an answer for him against this Nets team. With the season history they've had, they don't have an answer for him. Now, excuse me, I just want to say maybe Steve Nash, you know, can show us. Maybe this is maybe this series is for him to show us that he's a coach. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe you know y'all um, had all you know played against him three times. They won two. You know, maybe I mean, yeah, maybe we have changed them around, changed the scheme or something that can stop Giannis. If that happens, I'm like, oh, Steve Nash is coaching. Okay. So. But I just mm-hmm. don't trust, you know. I'm sorry. You can have a, a great, listen, you got shooters on the other team. It's, they lethal on yeah, offense. make my point for me, please. They, no, no, no. I can they lethal on offense. But how many teams have won from solely offense alone? Oh, none. It doesn't happen. Wait, no. It, it's, it's happened maybe back in the 60s or something. Okay, but like okay, far, teams with far high as, scoring offenses. As far as today's NBA, it doesn't happen. You're right. I, but I'm not talking so, about winning it all. I'm talking about winning these next four out of seven games. Yes, I'm saying exactly. This is the false. If the Lakers get knocked out, mm-hmm. although uh, I don't know. I, I'm still hoping for the Lakers to be in the, in, in the championship game. Obviously. But – this to me is one of the hardest matchups they're gonna have moving forward. That's why I say they have their Eastern Conference Championship game right now. This is their hardest test to me in the path of the championship right now. Looking at the way things been going, this is the t- and you said to so win it all. T- to mm-hmm. me, they win this one. I, the way they the way in which they win this one will tell me if they're gonna win it all. Thank so I'm telling you what that the Bucks are better than the Sixers. Yes. Okay. I'm telling you, if okay. I had the Bucks and the Utah Jazz in a series that the I could like, I would put money. What pause? That I would consider the Bucks to win that series. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you got the Bucks and the Jazz, I got them going seven games. Now, are there scenarios in which I see Jazz winning? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But there are also scenarios in which I see the Bucks winning mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. But okay. the reason why I say the Bucks is the hardest for them is because they can't stop Giannis. What other team got a Giannis? Um, well, the Brooklyn Nets have a better Giannis, a player that's better than Giannis. Yes, but and I'm saying so, you so, they okay, score so, on offense. Okay, we talking about okay, defense. But, but 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 you said a player, okay? So you got. But we talking about defense. So, Who got a player better than Giannis in which they have to defend that the Nets have to defend like a Giannis? We talking about defense. I'm not talking about offense. I'm talking look, about defense. I, again, I hear what you're saying, Ashley. I'm talking about. This series right here, That's and in this, I, no, you're right. But yeah, I this said, series right here, nobody has won nope. recently within the last few decades with solely offense alone. And you said that I'm not talking about winning everything. I'm talking yeah, because right you make now. it sound what like I'm it. saying is this is the championship defining series for the Nets. That's what I'm saying. They are well. Then looks like the Nets, Nets might as well have had a bags packed to go out west because they're not oh they're gosh. not losing to Milwaukee and they're not losing to Philadelphia. I, I said I th- they're not losing to Philadelphia, no. But I said I have the Nets winning. 
I'm saying the net the Bucks are giving them the toughest test. Oh yeah, they're giving. Oh I'm okay, saying. fair enough. Yeah, they'll give them a test. They'll give them a test. They ain't no question. That's what I'm saying. Ain't I mean, no I question. went out, no but question, the Bucks but... are giving them a test. But... And if they don't, if they don't account for Giannis, then the Bucks are gonna pass that test. Is what I'm saying. Mm. That's what they need to do. Account for Giannis. I... I think you could pretty much. So, I think so you could. can average thirty five in this series. Okay, boss. I think you. Is averaging I think you could. Right now, and they're losing. He's averaging thirty five points in playoffs, and they're losing. You tell me if Giannis averages thirty five in this series against the Nets, that the Bucks I, are look losing. honestly. If you ask me, and granted, I'm not an NBA coach, so don't take my <laughs> advice to heart. But if you want to say, hey, look, y'all, that big man over there from Greece, he big, he strong. He takes two dribbles from a three-point line, and he's at the basket. He's under the basket. Let him get 45. Let him. Let him shoot. Let him get to the hole. Let him get 45. But don't let nobody else do nothing. Pause. You have to know how to play defense for that. You have to know how to play defense for that. The Nets don't know how to play defense at all. Man I'm to man. I'm just saying. Look, box and one. The Nets don't know how to play defense. I, look, I'm just. They can do a box and one. You know, you know what a box and yes, one I does? Yes, I know what a box and one does. They got one. A box and one is a defense you play against somebody who got one good player. Mm-hmm. That's what you're saying right now. And where are we right now? And where are we right now? And where are we right now? So you saying if the Nets were to play a box and one, that they could be the Bucks, bro? You are out of your mind. Chris Middleton, I'm sorry, but if you leave that man open, he is going to make it. What do you not understand that okay, this man fine. was leading the league fine. in three-point percentage fine. at one point in his career? Fine. Okay, fine, fine. Let Giannis get 35. Let Chris Middleton get 20. Who else is going to score for you? Who else is going to do it? <laughs> Who else is going to drop drop major buckets? Tell me. Hello. I'm talking to you. Look. Look, it is what it is. It don't matter. Look, it don't matter. Because they're not beating the Nets. It doesn't matter. We both just said that. So Drew Holiday. I mentioned him earlier. He's a defender. He's gonna score. Yeah, he can score. He's, he's more defender. He's he he still defender. gonna score. Okay. He's still gonna score. Drew Holiday still gonna listen. Where you sleep? DiVincenzo, they back up a uh, point guard. Or is he their starting point guard? Hmm. Okay. Dante G- DiVincenzo, the is he? I want to say white because I don't want to be like somebody say he Italian or whatever he is. I don't know what his name is, but uh, I mean I don't know what he is. But I mean they have they have some scores. They have some they got some they got some dogs over there, bro. Mm-hmm. I still got the Nets winning in seven, but I'm just saying and that's what if they matters. don't have no if they don't have an answer for Giannis. I'm sorry. I would not be surprised if they lost to the Bucks. I'm picking them to win, but if they ain't got no answer for Giannis, it's over in game seven. Mm-hmm. Can we can we move on now? Yes, we can. Okay. Or yeah, yeah, we can. You should. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. You just, so. you just got sound like the Bucks is soft or they. They're frauds. F R O D S. Frauds. If if they're frauds, if they come out and poop this next series, I will. Miracles right. They were frauds. This okay. whole little. This whole little rant I just went on. Good thing everything is always on my hard drive, and I don't have to look that far for it. Like I say, this ain't just on your hard drive. It's on everybody else's phones, too. (laughs) All y'all listening, too. Don't have to look that far. All right. So, when y'all watching that Bucks Net series and Bucks start pooping it, y'all just think of me and think of how I have to give this man his his flowers and, you know, his head be getting pumped on. I I will take them gracefully. 